Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing the MCAT. medical college admissions test is broken up into four sections chem phys cars bio biochem and psych -soch. so you have 95 minutes in your chem phys bio biochem and psych -soch to complete 44 passage-based questions and 15 standalone questions in your car section you have 53 passage-based questions what does passage based mean it means that they're going to provide you with the passage from a scientific journal and going to give you about five to six questions to answer from that passage. So enough with the logistics. Let's get into it, okay? So I am not going to discuss in detail my full escapade through getting past the MCAT. This video is only to provide you with tips, tricks, apps, and of course, the MCAT prep that I use to increase my score by 20 points. If you are interested in my personal journey, and it's a long one, then just let me know and I can really break down the detail in another video. However, I was you about a year ago, so I just want you to get to the point, girl, okay? Give me what I came here for, right? So, let's start with the apps. Now, the apps that I'm going to show you, I will put... The image of what it looks like on the screen so that you have an idea of what you're looking for in your app store. Number one, amino acids are 85% of the test. So you want to know the amino acids like the back of your hand. They need to be your best friend. So in order for me to understand the name, the structure, as well as the short version of the name, I downloaded two apps. One, the amino acid game, as well as the Amino Acid Academy. Now, if you're just getting familiar with the Amino Acids, I definitely encourage you to start with the game. However, I highly recommend to transition to the Academy before you actually uh, take your test because the structures in the Amino Acid Academy is going to resemble the structures that are going to be presented to you on the actual exam. So, number two. The second app that I recommend is Anki. Now, Anki is going to carry you through the rest of your medical career when it comes to learning these materials. So with the Anki app, the great thing about it is that you can make your own flashcards, insert images, and insert mnemonics or self-references that you personally can relate to. Now, a lot of individuals who use Anki, they create their own personalized cards that will assist them. However, there are cards that are already pre-made. Now, one deck that I highly recommend that I use personally was the Mao Down deck. The Mao Down deck for me was one of the best things I could have stumbled upon. So I will link at the bottom where you can download the Mao Down deck at, on the Anki site, but it's definitely worth it. The last app I recommend is Khan Academy. If you're a visual learner like myself, then the videos are short and simple and to the point and really will re-emphasize the subject material that you're studying. So before we get into it, make sure you grab a notepad and a pen because these tips and tricks are definitely going to be something that you want to save for later. Next, let's talk about the YouTube channels that I watch while studying for the MCAT. I will link both the channels in the description box below. One was the Amiibo Sisters. I love cartoons. I know, I'm grown, but I love cartoons. The Meeple Sisters breaks down biology in simplified terms. Their cartoons are super cute, and you will leave with a wealth of knowledge after watching a five to 10 minute video. I definitely recommend them for anything that has to do with biology, especially genetics. Next, I would recommend Med Simplified. It breaks down a lot of the pathways that you'll need to know such as glycolysis and oxidative phosphorylation, and they're quick five to 10 minute videos. So definitely use those to fill in some of those gaps that you may need. Now, let's discuss some of the podcasts that I listen to. I listen to the pre-med years as well as MCAT basics. These were podcasts that I would just throw on my radio whenever I was going places just to get some tips and tricks 
that would really assist me when approaching some of this material. Now, let's get into third party. Now, I 100% believe that you should really only focus on mastering AMC material because you are not taking a Kaplan test. You are not taking a Princeton review test. You are not taking a next step test. You are taking an AMC test. So in my personal opinion, and once again, this is my opinion, but you should definitely put your emphasis on AMC material. I'm speaking on firsthand experience because I did buy Next Step. I did buy Kaplan. I probably read every third party you could think of. And in my honest opinion, all of them are missing something, right? And like I said, once again, let me repeat this again. This is my opinion, but I feel as though none of them will ever match AMC, right? Um, some may be harder, some may be easier, but at the end of the day, when you sit down and take that eight hour exam, you're taking an AMC exam. So although I did use those resources initially in the beginning when I was trying to find some type of structure in my studying, I recommend sticking with AMC. Now, to build a foundation, of course, you can read any of those third parties, but please do not get um, do not get overwhelmed with everybody's story, with different individuals' techniques on YouTube. Find what works for you and stick with it. So that leads me into tips and tricks. So let's get into it. So tip number one, delete your social media. Just an opinion. However, I deleted my social media when I was studying for the MCAT and it paid off. Everyone can relate to just saying, oh, I'm gonna check my Instagram or my Facebook really quickly, and then you end up being on there for two hours. So me personally, I did not want any distractions, so I made sure to delete all my social media. If I was logging onto my phone, I was using one of the three apps that I mentioned to you before. And number two, build your content. I cannot stress this enough. Please do not look at a practice exam until you have established a good foundation of content because all you're gonna end up doing is shooting down your confidence. If you walk in blindly trying to take a practice exam without having your content down, you will hurt yourself. So do not even look at a practice exam until your content is solid. Tip number three, and this specifically deals with cars. Now cars for me was a hit or miss. If I resonated with the subject, I would do very well. If I didn't, I wouldn't do so good. So I recommend doing cars twice a day. I would do a cars passage in the morning and I would do a cars passage at night. Cars should be done every single day. Tip number four, take very detailed notes when you are in your content review. You want to be able to take these notes so you don't have to go back and re-review content. If you take good notes, include pictures, include mnemonics that will you know, resonate with you, then you can always refer back to these notes and review your notes every single day, okay? I usually reviewed my notes right before I went to sleep. If the note set was something that I could record, I would record the notes so that way if I was out and about or I was busy, I could just turn on my audio from my notes and just listen to them. Or I could just listen to them in the car or I could listen to them in my sleep. But definitely review your notes. It's gonna re-emphasize the information and it's going to allow you to build some type of library. I know that sounds weird, but some type of library of recall so you can recall that information it's a constant it's a constant battle you have to dedicate every single day so review your notes every day tip number five this kind of goes hand in hand with tip number four with about recording your notes so when i say record your notes do not read the notes verbatim off of what you already wrote 
put them in your own words. Basically teach yourself. And it's going to feel weird at first to hear your own voice. However, definitely going to pay off because you're summarizing the information and having to put it in your own words. And all that's doing is really strengthening your recall. Tip number six, group study to me is the best study because when you study with multiple people, you can bounce ideas, you can see different perspectives. You can also pick up on some of their tips and tricks. So they may have a description of a concept that you may not quite understand, but their description helps you understand that. So I definitely don't recommend isolated study. I'm 100% an advocate for group study. Now, tip number seven, once you have established your foundation, teach it to someone. Teach it to your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, significant other. Teach it to your dog. Teach it to your classmates. Teach the information. Because teaching the information is going to require you to know the information. Especially if you're teaching it to a group of students. Because it may not resonate with everyone and you may have to figure out another way to explain it. All that's doing is assisting you and your understanding. So teach it. Tip number eight, self-reference. Any chance you get to be able to relate the information to something that personally resonates with you, please take that opportunity. Now, don't laugh at me, but me personally, I relate the RTK insulin pathway to a kickback. If you guys want the details on that, just let me know and I'll share it. But who can relate to a kickback? So make it fun, make it interesting. You know, everyone's mnemonics may not work for you, but find a set that do or create your own. I promise you, creating your own will definitely assist in your recall 110% better. Tip number nine, Reddit is your frenemy. Take Reddit with a grain of salt. There are a lot of tips and tricks on there. There are a lot of great mnemonics. However, please don't get hung up on what's going on on Reddit MCAT because it, it's, it's not a black hole that you want to go down, okay? So use it at your discretion. I used it for some of the tips and tricks that they had on there. However, I did not get too hung up on it. Tip number 10, I cannot emphasize this enough. Your practice exams should take you hours double the amount of time it took you to take that test. Now, if we calculate right, that's an eight hour test. So it should take you 16 plus hours to review your MCAT practice exams because you need to be able to explain why every wrong answer is wrong and why the right answer is correct because you don't wanna run into a situation where one of those wrong answers is actually the correct answer on the next question. So you need to be able to break down and be able to pinpoint exactly why those answers are wrong and be able to explain it. When I was doing my practice reviews, I would keep a note set in my iPad and I would write down the question and the correct answer as well as why I got the answer wrong and explain why all the wrong answers were incorrect. Now, by writing down why you got the answer wrong, you will be able to go back and see what your issue is, whether it's content, whether it's um, attention to detail, whether it's second guessing yourself, whether it's um, you didn't understand the question stem, whether it's you didn't understand the passage. You want to identify what your weak area is so you can improve it. Now, me personally, my issue was second guessing. And once I started writing down the reason I got the question wrong, I was able to identify, hey, your issue is you second guess yourself. So in order for you to fix that, don't change your answer. Put your first answer down. And if you feel like you want to change your answer, flag it. And when I tell you my score increased exponentially after I did that, it was amazing. So everyone's problem is going to be different. The biggest takeaway from this is 
write it down acknowledge what it is so you can fix it because you don't want to keep going in these practice exams blindly and getting the same mistakes making the same mistakes over and over and over again it's not the point we're trying to have forward progression so identify what your problem is so you can fix it and last but definitely not least let's get into the MCAT prep that I use to increase my score by 20 points the MCAT prep that I use is called IMT which stands for integrative MCAT tutoring I will link the information in the description box below but when I tell you this MCAT prep changed my life I literally got the score I needed to successfully get into the dream school that I wanted to go to. So let's get into why I feel this MCAT prep was the best opportunity for me. For one, this MCAT prep is probably the cheapest you're going to find. It's $200 a month for four months. IMT, they strictly focus on the AMC outline. Now, previously in this video, I discussed with you that you're taking an AMC test, not a Kaplan, a Next Step, a Princeton Review, an Altius. You are taking an AMCAS MCAT. So you want to make sure you understand what those individuals are thinking when it comes to your test. They follow the AMC outline. Like I said earlier in this video, you are taking an AMC MCAT. Why not get in the minds of the individuals who actually create the test and follow the outline that they actually present to you? So they break down the outline and each class session, they take a topic from the AMC outline and present to you the information. They break it down in elementary style and then build the information back up in a way that the MCAT is going to present it to you because the MCAT is not going to present the information in sections. So the MCAT is not compartmentalized. It's not going to just focus on one subject material. It's going to take from various sciences and you're going to be required to understand how to bring all this together. And in their program, once they break it down so you have the solid foundation of the subject material, they build it back up and how it all connects back together. We have a structure schedule Monday through Friday of classes you can attend. It is not rigid. So let's say that topic needs more than one class session to really cover and have a good understanding of it. They will spend a few class sessions on making sure that the basis of that information is covered by all the students. Let's say you need a little bit more help on a certain subject. They offer small groups that you can attend to go at your pace so that you have a good understanding before moving on past that subject. Do an in-depth MCAT practice review on all the exams. It's very thorough. They go step by step in showing what you should have been looking for in the passage as well as how to approach the passage, why the wrong answers were wrong and why the right answers were right, as well as establishing study tips and strategies that will assist you further on in your career. All the tutors in the program have scored a 525 or higher on the most recent MCAT exam. So you can rest assured that you are in very good hands. They place emphasis on cars and teach you strategies and how to approach cars on a daily basis. They review AMC exams question by question to ensure that you understand why you got the answer wrong, how you should be approaching the questions, any words to picture techniques, quick math skills. They also partner with clinical psychologists to assist individuals who are dealing with anxiety in approaching the exam. Overall, it was a great experience for me, especially the fact that I increased my score 20 plus points. So that's why I thought it was so important to share this MCAT prep. I'm going to, like I said, put the information in the description box. As well as at the end of this video, I will place CM, who is overall in charge of the program's number, so you can get in contact with her. Please do not miss this opportunity and get enrolled into IMT. It will definitely change your perspective on how to approach the MCAT, and you could be just like me and increase your score by 20 plus points. I hope this video was insightful for you. If you have any other questions or you want some more details on some of the things I mentioned, please do not hesitate to comment below or email me at becoming.dr.russell at gmail.com. Love you guys. Stay tuned for the next video.